Well, tonight we continue our in-depth look at America's border crisis with Congress failing to enact new immigration laws. Some states are moving forward and passing their own. But as CBS's Manuel Bohorka shows us, it can have some unintended consequences. Raquel Lopez Aguilar is an undocumented immigrant who worked as a roofer in the Tampa area. The father of two from Mexico is charged with smuggling under Florida's new immigration law. I think that it'll be difficult to prove the human smuggling aspect of this case. This is a brand new law. Lopez Aguilar is facing four felony counts for driving a group of roofers in a work van from a job in Georgia and a misdemeanor charge of driving without a valid license. The new law prohibits anyone from transporting illegal immigrants into the state. This is the strongest legislation against illegal immigration anywhere in the country. But after Hurricane Idalia hit the state in August, some say the law created a worker shortage, slowing Florida's recovery. Andamos trabajando con temor. With fear, working with fear. Mm -hmm. Rogelio Rauda, an undocumented worker from Honduras, doing construction in Crystal River, Florida, says only eight workers he knows came to the disaster zone. Out of hundreds, he says, typically show up. The fear that somebody's going to stop you, ask for your papers, and that you could be deported. Posiblemente la deportación. Posiblemente la deportación. Tim Conlon, who runs a roofing company in Jacksonville, says it's happening outside disaster zones, too. Uh, in the last year, our crew count has been cut in half. The law requires businesses like his with 25 or more employees to check employees' legal status through a database called E-Verify. He says it's cumbersome and puts him at a disadvantage with smaller roofers who don't have that requirement. I am not a fan of open borders, but I am a fan of putting people to work in this community who are contributing to the community. There's got to be a way to get them into the system where they get paid a fair wage and they pay their fair taxes and everybody gets back to work. Manuel Bohorquez, CBS News, Crystal River, Florida.